Welcome back to Analytical Chefs. We must all be on the lookout for real-life bad wolves. The sinister acts shown to us daily on the news are proof that evil lurks and is very real. We will get into some of the most chilling stories. These are some of the most vicious real-life bad wolves. At times, these tormented people act as if they have their victim's best interest. Before we dive deeper, let me tell you a unique story. The true story of the three little pigs. The book was written by John Siska. The story is in the perspective of Alexander T. Wolf. You know, the big bad wolf. Wolf wants everyone to know that everyone has got it all wrong. He's painted out to be the bad guy, but he swears this is how it all started. Allegedly, Wolf was baking a cake for his sweet old granny. He also had a terrible cold while preparing it. One big problem, he ran out of sugar. So he walked down the street to ask his neighbor. This neighbor happened to be a pig who built his whole house out of straw. Wolf was stunned because straw isn't the strongest material to use as shelter. As soon as Wolf knocked on the pig's door, the straw door fell apart. Wolf respectfully called out for the pig to come to the door, but no answer from pig. With no answer, Wolf was ready to leave, but his nose began to itch so bad that it caused him to sneeze into the pig's home, causing the entire straw house to tumble down. The wolf noticed that in the middle of the straw house's collapse, there was a dead pig. Now, the wolf figured he wouldn't let a perfectly and nutritious ham dinner go to waste, so he ate the pig. Wolf was still looking for sugar, so he walked to the next neighbor's house, another pig-owned home. But this time, the house was made of sticks. Wolf asked politely, Mr. Pig, are you in the house? Pig yelled back, Wolf, go away. You can't come in. I'm shaving the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Wolf had just grabbed the doorknob when he had another sneeze attack. Wolf flew away this pig's house too. Wolf didn't plan it, but thought, if I don't eat the pig, it will just spoil. Wolf ate the second pig. Now with a full tummy, Wolf was actually feeling better from his cold. Wolf still wanted to grab some sugar for his grandma's birthday cake, so Wolf headed to the next door neighbor, which was the brother of the other pigs. This pig built his house out of bricks. Wolf politely asked if Mr. Pig was home. The third pig shouted, Get out of here, Wolf. Don't bother me again. Wolf was insulted, but was ready to change his plans. He was thinking that he may need to give his sweet old granny something else for her birthday. Maybe a birthday card rather than a cake. But again, Wolf let out a strong sneeze. The third pig yelled, Your old granny can sit on a pin. Now this caused Wolf to go crazy because he can't allow someone to disrespect his sweet old granny that way. He huffed, puffed, and he caused a scene. When the cops arrived, the report stated that Wolf was in rage and actively trying to break the third pig's door down. Wolf says that the news has the story wrong. He says that the true story is he had a real bad cold and needed some sugar. Write in the comments section why you believe Wolf's version of the story or you don't. What life has shown us is that real bad wolves exist and lurk the streets. From psychotic people, those with cruel intentions, and many out to cause great bodily harm. Are you prepared to handle a home security situation? In the real world, we should all be mindful of how our housing structures can protect us. Not just from natural disasters in your state, but stray bullets. What material is your home made out of? Wood frame, concrete block, log, structural insulated panels, light gauge steel. If you are in the market to make your home bulletproof, you may want to look into ballistic grade fiberglass. Ballistic fiberglass is a popular choice for bulletproofing walls because the ballistic grade fiberglass panels can be integrated into walls to provide bullet resistance. Taking appropriate security measures are important. There have been recent home invasions that make you think, how good is my situational awareness and am I being vigilant when dealing with unexpected strangers? especially those that show up to your house unannounced. Our next story is one of the most disturbing attempts to cause terror. The story of Christopher Sums. He showed up on the doorsteps of a Las Vegas neighborhood home to ask politely if he can come in, rape, and kill the woman inside the home. Uh, what I'm looking for is for the girl that's in the house to come out here because I'm going to rape her and kill her. Do you have her open the door? rape and kill the girl that's on the other side of the store when she lets me in. I want to rape her and kill her to have a knife and a gun. I'm going to knock on her door again. Although disturbing, this scenario does not leave the homeowner guessing on this sick person's intentions. Christopher's sinister intentions are clear and allows the victim to act quickly. 
Christopher's case is still ongoing and his charges include aggravated stalking, coercing with threat of force, attempted burglary, and providing a false statement to a public officer. Here are some tactics to be aware of when an unexpected visitor stands outside your front door. Ensure all your doors are locked. Do not open your front door before knowing what the person wants and ask them to identify themselves. If you are not comfortable, do not open the door. Communicate only through your security camera speakers if possible. Before opening the door, look through a peephole or speak to the unexpected person through your ring doorbell camera. Identify the visitor without compromising your safety. This allows you to assess their intention while maintaining a barrier between you and the stranger. Beware of fake package delivery services. There have been several home invasions that start off by a person disguised as a delivery worker. The scheme involves a fake delivery driver approaching your door, dropping off a package on your doorstep, when in fact there are additional perpetrators waiting to barge into your home when your guard is down. Instead, do not open your door, just wait for the delivery person to drop off the item and leave. Also, link your drop-off deliveries to your push notifications so you can receive instant communication on your phone when your deliveries are dropped off. This will allow you to be in control and be aware of expected deliveries. Be skeptical of door-to-door -door salesmen. In this case, what appeared to be a harmless pitch ended in aggressive and derogatory remarks from the salesman when the homeowner did not want to purchase the magazines he was selling. Listen to this interaction between the salesman and the homeowner. Comment on how you think it escalated and who you side with. The dog got on me, sir. <laughs> the magazines I would not be interested in, to be honest with you, because everything's online. You don't like No, I have nothing to do with that. I just don't well, like you say it like that. What? And it doesn't end there. Before the salesman left, he made sure to let the homeowner know that all his possessions can be taken away from him that same night. Unfortunately, the Utah Police Department could not charge the salesman. Comment below on how you think this scenario could have played out differently. Never give away delicate information to an unexpected person at your door. Request identification if the visitor claims to be from a professional service or government organization. Trust your instincts. If you feel uncomfortable or unsure about the visitor, especially during unusual hours such as in the evening or late at night, do not open the door. Prioritize your safety. A Bronx resident trusted her instincts at 2 in the morning when she dodged this lurker and his intentions which did not appear to be in her best interest. If you enjoyed this content designed to raise self-awareness on personal safety, please like, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified when future content is published. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay safe.